Hi, I'm Tara Lynn Chen, Chair of the American Library Association's Public and Cultural Programs Advisory Committee. I'm Kamis Ghanavasiri, Associate Professor of Religion and Humanities at Lee College, and I'm one of the national scholars for the uh, Muslim Journeys Bookshelf on the Public and Religion Culture Series. What is unique about this project? There's a lot of things that are great about this, uh, this project. The two things stand out. One is that there's a lot of Islam talk in our public discourse today. There's a lot of uninformed discussion about Islam. And what the National Endowment of Humanities and the American Library Association have done with this project is um, they've gotten scholars of, and taken their expert expertise and found and used their own expertise to build a set of very accessible works that are also well informed. Um, about Islam and represent deep knowledge about Islam and make them accessible to, to, to the public. The other thing is that there's a great deal of discussion, uh, the attention paid to the plural of Islam. We often in our public discourse think about Islam as a single monolithic uh, entity, and it's not. The Islamic world spans the, the globe, the Muslim, the Muslim societies throughout the globe, and there's a great deal of attention paid to, pay to that diversity and the works that have been selected. What do you hope will take place in libraries as a result of this bookshelf? Well, I hope a lot of critical discussion and critical thinking about religion, not just about Islam, but about religion more generally. There was a time that people thought um, religion was going to die out, and now we know better. We know that religion continues to be a part of our public life. So anything that these texts could do to get people to think about religion more critically, have more critical conversations about religion, to see religion in relationship to psychology, and psychology in relationship to the politics, uh, to the political relationship with the economy, to see that it's not just this entity that's part of people's private you know, private lives, but actually it's in relationship to all these other aspects of our everyday, everyday lives. And we, we can have what several things do you think readers will find most surprising? Well, um, I think perhaps the, the thing that they will find most surprising is how accessible the, the books are, that they're not just um, informative books, but they're also good reads. And maybe I could speak more to the project that I'm in the most intimately involved in, the section that deals with American stories. I think that people will be surprised with some of the information they learned that Muslims have been taught in this country, present in this country since colonial times, and have played a role in this country, and not a massive role in terms of actually colonizing uh, uh, North America, but a significant role nonetheless um, that could be read and looked at to gain new vistas of American history, new experiences. Be both surprised by the entertaining quality of the books and by the new information. Wonderful. How does this project contribute to the goal of bridging cultures? That's a really good question. I think um, we often think about trying to bridge cultures and understand other cultures, and I think by assuming that we're all the same, and that if we don't actually understand other people, um, that there's something wrong with them or there's something wrong with us. Uh, but actually, understanding other cultures is much more difficult. It's a lot more, a lot more work. And one of the things that this project does, and one of the things that is really uh, part of the strength, is that it begins with the assumption not that we're all the same, but that there are certain humanistic problems that we all share, and that different people have given different answers to those questions and address those, those problems in different ways, and that we could learn from them. We may not like them, we may not like how other cultures do things, and that's okay. But but and it takes a lot more work to, to understand why it is that others approach similar problems differently. Um, I think it takes a great deal, a, a significant step towards getting people to think about cultural differences and particular differences between the Islamic culture and, uh, and uh, whatever cultures people may come from, come from in America um, in a much more sophisticated way. Another thing is that um, the inclusion of my section that I've been working on for the Belgian uh, culture series of American stories, and um, you also find that. American, uh, Muslims have been part of American, American culture. We can't really divide uh, Islamic culture from uh, quote unquote Western, uh, Western culture. And that hopefully that section and other books on the series will help people um, come to see how standing on common ground can actually be a of across the cultural boundaries. Thank you.